How you doing Brian King, UK Flooring TV. Uh, we're back over in Telford at uh, Dan's place. Uh, we're joined by current UK Carpet Fitter of the Year winner, Dan Jones. How you doing Dan? I'm fine, thank you. Yeah. Uh, we've also got Paul Sycamore down here from uh, Jansa. Alright Paul? Yes, thank you. Uh, what we're doing this week Dan? Well, we've got loads of goodies to play with this week, um, but we'll, we'll start with these uh, knee pads, but we've got some um, seamers and uh, all sorts of gizmos to have a look at anyway, so... Paul's bought a bit yeah, of a selection down yeah, for saved me looking in my tool bag at things and thinking, what can we do? <laughs> <laughs> we've got some real stuff this time. So, uh, we're kicking off with knee pads. Yeah. Uh, do you, I, I personally use knee pads, yeah. um, only because I hate to admit it, I've only got small legs, so me, uh, me <laughs> knee pads in my pants, yeah. they actually slide. <laughs> when it, you know, I'm forever pulling them up. When I'm actually down on my knees, they slide onto my shin. Yeah, shin so, pads. Uh, I, I use knee pads. Is it something you use, or do you use the pads yeah. in your pants? Uh, no, I, 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 I've always got uh, insert knee pads. Uh, I've always used insert knee pads. Uh, I did try and buy some of those plastic cupped things that go around with velcro because uh, I thought when I do some LVT I'll wear them but I did try them and I'm like Bambi with them because they're, they're shiny plastic and you go on a hard floor and you're like whoosh, all, yeah. all, all over the place so I, I've always since I started work um, used insert pads in mine I've got red backs in at the minute uh, and before that I've always used the um, Snickers foam ones that look like that I, I've always used that style before uh, then I've had some rubber ones Snickers ones and I'm on these red backs at the minute but I've just brokered a deal with Paul to buy a set of these after the video so uh, this is what I'll be on next I hope so you're using your AWS code yeah I'll use all codes <laughs> <laughs> have, you, uh, have you used the uh, Snickers beanbag pads I, I, I did have a spell of using those which are quite comfortable I haven't used them they do look quite comfortable there um, yeah yeah they do look They've got, they're quite thick as well aren't they when they've got a, a, a ridge around the outside so you, you don't roll off the, the side of them but yeah they, they look quite comfortable um, the only thing with those is when after a while I think after a year or two they'll, they'll burst yeah. and then there's little polystyrene balls in so you end oh, up all over your washing machine and you, yeah, yeah. And, and where you're working you keep finding these little white balls yeah. but other than that they're quite comfortable I started off with the uh, leather pads with the buckle yeah, yeah. what dig into the back of your yeah. And then I switched to the uh, the Velcro ones with the cups, yeah, the plastic yeah. cups. Everything that fastens around the back, I, I think if you've got shorts on, they're probably better. But when you put them on top of trousers, they crease your trouser up and sort of pinch your, the back of your leg, don't they? When you yeah, but yeah. I think it's getting used to them. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I had a spell of using the medical knee pads for quite a, a yeah, while. Yeah. These ones, yeah. which were quite comfortable. The only thing with those, I found they, they kept slipping. Slip into the side. I, I, I would say, yeah, you, you roll off the side of them. Yeah, cause, yeah, yeah, because yeah, they're a bit thinner there. Yeah, but a lot, but of, a lot of the comfortable. A lot of the contract lads use those. They mm -hmm. seem to to use them. And then from then, I went to the. Um, I, I switched to the Fentos, the big Fentos. Yeah, which are those? That those ones, yeah. Yeah, yeah. those are comfortable. Yeah. Do you, you can you kick a kicker in them or no? No, no. no. no so it's just like hard stuff and crawling round, and then when you get your your stretcher out. Put, yeah, I use the prep. I use yeah. the prep with my knee pads on, and then when like the underlay grippers down, take them off, spread the carpet out, and you've yeah, got the carpet yeah. and underlay to cushion. Yeah, they're quality. These are, aren't they? Yeah. What sort? What sort of money are these? If I say four hundred. You're looking at one hundred and twenty-nine sixty-nine. Yeah, yeah. So and, they're, and they're going to last you a long time, aren't they? they these yeah. are. The the good thing with those are, I think the uh, version of Pronies because. When you're actually knelt down on them, all the pressure's on your shin, so your knee's actually suspended off the floor. Yeah. Well, that, that's your pro knee, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's yeah, what I use yeah, now. Yeah, that's what yeah. I currently use. Yeah. Um, from America, they're absolutely brilliant. They, but, they took me a couple of weeks of getting used to because they're quite heavy and bulky, but co yeah. com comfortable-wise, nothing touches them. Yeah, yeah. What about these? What do you use them for? I went, I went through a spell of using those, uh, especially when in summer when I wear my shorts, but... Yeah. The, the brilliant pads, they've got like air pockets, so they are comfortable, but the only downside with them is you sweat with them and, and they, they tend to smell quite a bit. Yeah, I know yeah. fitters what have two pairs and wear a pair for a couple of days and then alternate them and wash them, yeah, yeah. but 
Well, well you could blame the smell on the knee pads if you want to, couldn't you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, that's what I'm blaming. Yeah. Anyway. Well, that one's twitching a bit there. <laughs> <laughs> Still I've, actually, I've actually washed them to bring you. Yeah. They still smell. <laughs> I've got some hand gel over there. Anyway. <laughs> what, what, what are the? I haven't used the small fentos, but the they yeah. look quite. Which one to, this, what's the difference? What are the difference? What, what's the difference between them two? So the orange ones, you've got the uh, other Fento 200 Pros, yeah. and you've got the Fento 200. Yeah. Uh, the difference between them is the Fento, the orange ones are just a bit closer to your knee. They yeah. sit more snug, snugly on your knee than uh, the pros do, rather than the 200s. Yeah, yeah. So th th there's basically thicker padding in these, and, yeah. and that, and, and and that's a bit. You got, yeah, they've got more padding on the yeah, outside. Yeah. But they've got a hard shell on the outside anyway, haven't they? So there's yeah. nothing from the floor. No, You're yeah. not going to get anything through through the floor. No, not at all with them, are you? No. Nice thing about the fence is if you do have a wedge in the bottom, which yeah. lifts you, keeps which, it up. which lifts your knee, which prevents tendon damage. Yeah, like yeah. the medicals as well. So yeah. the reason the medicals are so popular is because we're lifting yeah, well, your I, knee I, up and supporting your knee more. Which how I'm kneeling there, yeah. how I'm kneeling now, yeah, it puts pressure on the yeah. top tops of your, um, yeah, yeah. The tops of your foot there as well, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. It, it, it? It's pulling all down there. Yeah. So which is which is why the yeah. fentons are proving so popular as well, yeah. especially the hard floor layers. Not so much for the carpet fitters, but the hard floor layers because obviously kicking your knee, kicking them is proves to be a bit difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's why the carpet fitters tend to go either with the kicker pros. Yeah. Right. It's got two straps. These got so on, you can yeah. kick your knee kicker with that and it's not going to fall off and move around off your knee. Um, and obviously the pads you can put in your trousers as well. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll, yeah, I'm definitely going to get, yeah. get get a set of them. I'll see what the, the good stuff's like. Well, price-wise, what are the small fentos like compared to the long ones? So the Fento 200 Pro, which is what yeah. Dan's holding now, you're looking at eighty pound fifty five. Yeah. And the Fento 200, which is one Dan's holding now, you're looking at seventy five twenty eight. With those as well, we also do the spare straps as well, because like the medicals, the straps do get a lot of wear and tear as well. So you can buy the straps separately as well. Yeah. Yeah. So when the pad hasn't worn out. And the straps, the straps were out before the pad. We, we can replace those. Swap, yeah. Yeah. You yeah. do, you do stock a lot of spares for most of the Everything, stuff, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. We, we're, yeah. We're, we're never normally out of stock of stuff. We do no. keep. We have got big warehouse stocked full, ready to go. Yeah. So I, I mean, they are t to not wear a pad and be a, a fitter is when you're younger, you think it's clever. It, it, it's not that clever. Uh, I, I have all. I've been lucky because. When I started work, the, the trousers were out that would take a pad. When my dad was doing it, you had to get some jeans and get someone to sew you a double layer of denim onto it, or, or uh, you'd have some underlay that you tried to make a pocket. Uh, so they didn't really start work using a lot of pads, which you pay for later in life. It, I mean, you need to look after your knees. They're, they're basically the, like the wheels on your car for, for your body. Um, you're silly to go out and, and not wear pads. Because I wear pads all the time, when I tend to hurt my knees is when I work on my car and I go straight out in jeans and kneel on the floor, uh, my knees will hurt from that. Uh, I never get pain with my knees at work, uh, but when I've got a day off and I'm not wearing pads, I've got my jeans on, I kneel on the floor thinking I'm indestructible with my pads on, and, and that's when I damage my knees. So, I, I mean, you are sensible, and some of these things you might think are a lot of money, when you're limping in 25 years, uh, it was well worth spending money on the best pads you could get your hands on. It's a small grass to, play, but to pay yeah, really yeah. for your healthy knees. It's like the uh, pro knees, they're over 200 quid. Yeah. But uh, I got them, the, I think the only the only place you can get them in the country is from Flowmart, who yeah. sponsor Fitter. So uh, I got them through Fitter. And, and these, these you've got, you have, you give them your size, don't you? Yeah, yeah, you measure from your, from your foot to your knee. And then yeah. I think you measure round round your calf, yeah. and you send that off, and they're made to measure for your leg. Yeah, yeah. And again, you can buy all the spares for them, can't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can buy all those. And, and these are just your normal range of pads, aren't they? What, yeah, sort, what sort of money we're we looking at with yeah. these? Ten, ten pounds. Yeah, yeah. yeah and, then, and I've had some of these in equivalent versions of these. They, they don't tend to really go that 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 flat. And when you wash yeah. them in your trousers, they seem to puff puff out a bit more as yeah. well uh, so I mean that's 
as better than nothing. Uh, mm -hmm. But I would still say they're, they're lightweight, they're quite big, so they come right up to the top of, yep. of your pocket. That, I mean, you don't have to be spending big bucks, but again, if you're working with something every day, why, why would you want the cheap thing? You know, if, you, if you're using something every day, you want the best of the best, or the, yeah. the best your budget can afford anyway. Uh, but, but I mean, I have used, I probably went for 20 years just using a set of the grey versions yeah. of, the, of these. It's only, it's only since I, I've been out and around and seen what other people are using, yeah. I even knew other stuff existed. I mean, I, I have actually, for when I learned to fit, I've been in a cocoon for uh, 25 years, I, and I just did what what I was taught 25 years ago. I was still doing five years ago. It's yeah. it's only since I've been mixing with all other fitters, I've seen. Oh, but yeah, that's a different way. Oh, they're different. Uh, uh, so the more you're out with people, the more things you see, uh, and with the internet as well. Now you you can see things years ago, unless you've walked in a shop, you or you no, had you, 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 you had your answer catalogue, you wouldn't see anything. But but now you've got people on cameras waving them in front of you and and opinions I mean some people will say they don't like things that we've said we like but again there's that many versions of stuff out there there's bound to be some that you'll you'll find yourself and, and like so it, it caters for any budget you've got yeah. from from a tenner up to over 200 quid so yeah, yeah. you know what I mean somewhere in between it'll suit your budget yeah and like yeah. I said I've always looked after my knees I've been I got told from when I was 16 look after your knees and I have so my, up to now, I took to what man he's a fan. It's yeah. everything else what's knackered. Yeah, yeah, my back yeah, and my yeah, hips. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> he did come here dragging his foot this morning. <laughs> <laughs> also with these, um, AWS uh, Carpet Fitter Shop Online are sponsoring these videos again. So uh, they're offering a discount on anything we show. So if you if you uh, enter the code Dance Tool, your discount will get applied. Yeah. Uh, so. All in all, yeah. I'm I, I mean, the, we've got a good selection of pads here, and uh, hopefully, you find something. Well, you find out the price anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah. But yeah, um, it's just personal choice. Um, you, you know what to ask for to when you want to look for anything now. Um, or is your catalogue online as well? Isn't it? It's uh, it's not online. No. No. Um, hopefully, it will be in the future. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, by early next year. Yeah. Um, but if anybody wants a catalogue, just yeah, just phone up or email and, and you'll ring the office or get yeah. in contact with me and I'll get one person yeah. out. Or their local distributor, they might have some of them, might they? Yeah, I get or at least you can have a go with their catalogue. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it's uh, widely available. If you're struggling to get one, just just get in contact with the office. We'll gladly send one out to you. I'll yeah. shove a link up so all yeah. the details are there. Yeah. Well done. Another two, another great tool of you. Thanks yeah. for that. Cheers. Cheers. Well, cheers. Thanks for coming cheers, down, Paul. Paul. Yeah. No problem. Right, and uh, see you next week, Dan. Yeah. See you cheers. next week.